What's good, you two? It's your boy CJ Too Lit, and we back with another hip hop news update. Now, breaking news on a story that's been out of Atlanta, uh, basically on Chicago rappers, as everybody knows, it's been trending all over the media. Um, basically, you know, rapper Lil Dirt uh, beat his case. Um, everybody's been talking about his lawyer, um, who she is, and um, some of the things that she's done in the past and things of that nature. But the main thing that we're going to talk about today is the King Von and the Lil Dirk case that was um, dropped um, from Dirk. Um, the DA actually called in and said because of insufficient evidence and because of a uh, lack of, uh, you know, the co-defendants that are on this case with Dirk are both deceased, you know what I'm saying? And with that being said, that they wanted to go ahead and not take this uh, case to trial. Um, and the reason they say that is because for one, they think that King Bond was the person that did it or somebody was alluding to the person named King Bond doing this, you know what I'm saying? And I would say a lot of people have been throwing around a lot of rumors out here saying things like, you know, Lil Dirk snitching because he basically just told on his mans and he did, you know what I'm saying? Like saying like King Von did it, you know what I'm saying? But he's dead so he can't be here to speak for himself, you know what I'm saying? And it's funny that, you know, people have been saying that because obviously right here in the, in the video, we got the proof that, you know, he basically told the DA's office and the judge that King Von did it. And the reason that we know that is because the DA put out a statement, as you can see right here in the video, you know what I'm saying? And if you do your research and you go look at what the DA said about this case and why it was dropped, they clearly said that this case was dropped because of, you know, lack of evidence. And also they said if King Von wouldn't have died in 2020, that King Von would be the person indicted under this this uh this this situation you know what i'm saying he would have been the one locked up for this situation so with that being said it's funny that they saying that you know what i'm saying i think with the history that Vaughn has had in the media and, and in the streets and the, all the things that people knew Vaughn for i feel like he's being treated a little unfairly you know what i'm saying and also his man's probably throwing him under the bus probably ain't gonna help and the reason i say that is because I don't think the DA office is going to come out with a statement and say, oh, yeah, King Von would have definitely been the person who was indicted for this incident if he was alive and wouldn't have died back in 2020. You know what I'm saying? That 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 just don't sound right nor sit right with me. You know what I'm saying? I think it's something bigger than that. I think it, it was something else that happened that we ain't talking about, you know, that people don't know about. And I think that thing is the fact that... Um, you know, people ain't talking about it, but Dirk saying something to his lawyer and letting his lawyer know, okay, I wasn't the shooter. Vaughn was, you know what I'm saying? And maybe we could take this to the lawyer. I mean, we could take this to the judge and maybe we could get me off of this situation because both of my Cody's are dead. It's not like they can defend themselves anyway, which makes it worse in a way, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, uh, you know, he's got to live his life too. So I get why he was probably doing what he doing in the situation that he's in too. And you know, with him beating this, this will probably help. A lot of people are trying to say, you know, next is going to be the Rico. But at the end of the day, you don't really know that. I think for this situation, I think Fonnie Willis is going to step back off a little dirt for a while unless little Dirk comes and tries to start terrorizing Atlanta again and shooting start happening and people start getting shot and people from OTF are involved. And one thing that people don't understand is King Bond was still a suspect in another shooting that happened in Atlanta at a party, a house shooting that happened in an apartment complex and a dude named Tyreek was killed, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and then you can look all of these facts up, you know what I'm saying? This is pure research research that I know off the top of my head uh, on this whole case and situation and, and the things that the DA and the judges have been speaking on and talking about. But yeah, man, it's a tricky situation. You know, people out here trying to say Dirk snitching. Uh, do y'all think that that's snitching because, you know, King Von being dead and all that? Or do y'all think that that was Dirk, you know, taking his way out? You know, God created it as a way for Dirk to get out of this situation. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel as well, man. Man, turn on post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, man, it's your boy CJ Too Lit, and I'm out.